morning, Columbia. We, uh, of course, were playing the flight of the bumblebee, and uh, we thought it would be appropriate with all the pollination that uh, Leonid has been doing uh, over the past uh, 14 days. And, uh, of course, uh, yesterday when we saw the Sprint Free Flyer in the payload bay, it uh, reminded us of a, of a bumblebee buzzing around above it. So uh, we thought that was a good selection. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Mark. Uh, thank you very much. Today is a very important day for uh, Q experiment. Uh, today I will uh, finish the collaborative uh, Ukrainian experiment on Port Columbia. And we think you've done a great job so far, Leonid. Keep it up. One more day. Thank you very much. And you too. Columbia. Hello, Columbia. This is Prime Minister Gujral from India. Can you hear me? Yes, Mr. Gujral, I hear you loud and clear. How do you read me? Kalpana, we are proud of you. Each one of us in India is proud of us. Proud of a person like you who has done such a pioneering work. And particularly the women and youth of India take great deal of pride in seeing what you have done in the space. My hearty congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You know, when I think of you, I think what a long journey you have covered from Karnal to space, long distance. And therefore, when I talk to you, I feel I'm talking to a person who is representing India in the space now. My all good wishes to you. Thank you, sir, uh, very much. Uh, those are very kind words. You know, Kalpana, I do not know if you remember, there is a saying by one of our poets, who is very well known in the subcontinent, Iqbal. He said, Sitaron se aage jahan aur bhi hain. There are worlds beyond stars. And now you have seen them. How do you feel about them? Uh, it's a very special feeling, uh, and really out here, the night sky, when you look at it, it what you are saying does become very literal. It's uh, a dome of a dark sky, and stars everywhere, and the earth, a uh, lot of time covered with thunderstorms here and there, with uh, some small sprays of lightning, and every once in a while, city lights seep through the clouds. And it uh, is very much like a storybook. And the crew that I'm working with out here, all of us work so well together. And it's such an honor and privilege to be able to share this very special mission with them. You know, it's a wonderful feeling that uh your journey has expanded the frontiers of science and technology. And also at the same time, you have built another new and very formidable and a strong bridge between India and America. So I'm very glad that I am, uh, if you say so, I'm able to do that. And in orbit, Kalpana, how do you feel without weight, weightlessness? Is it very difficult experience? As you can tell, right now we are uh, doing a burn, and things are just moving all over. I was uh, just moving things out of my way with my legs. Actually, it's uh, not very difficult at all. You get very used to it very fast. Um, so to go from one place to another, always end up telling yourself, take it easy, don't try to do very fast, because otherwise you are just tumbling all over. So gently is the way to go. It must be very interesting to sit with the colleagues and friends in the same weightlessness. Is it a very interesting experience and friendship that you have formed now? That's very true, sir. Um, on our crew, uh, we have people from very different backgrounds, and we bring a lot of different uh, cultures together, and it's 
just a lot of fun. Uh, it was fun while we trained together and now in space too. I don't know if from your uh, satellites you can see some other Indian satellites also, which are also in the space projecting Indian television program to every home. And yes, sir, I'm aware of that. Yes, but uh, you know, we are also, our scientists and our technologists are sharing the same experience of space. They have not gone themselves to space like you, but they have sent quite a few satellites. And, uh, yes, sir, yeah, I knew about that uh, when I was going to school back in Karnal, or I should say in Chandigarh in India. And then also after I came here, uh, I've been following that in the news out here. And I want to extract a promise from you that when you come back to the Earth, please come to India with all your friends in the satellite and also your whole family. Sir, the whole crew would love to come, and that would be an honor. You will be most welcome guest of the Indian people and the government. They all take so much pride in you and excited about you that when you come and meet them, they'll be extremely delighted, and you must come. So, yes, we will surely come, and like I said, that's definitely an honor. And if I may just uh, take a second, I'd like to introduce uh, my crew members to you. And first of all, I'm going to bring the pilot on board. His name is Steve Lindsay, and uh, Steve and I trained together in the class that I came in. Thank you very much, but also kindly c convey my invitation to your fellow travelers who are in space with you, the captain and everybody else. Sure, sir. Uh, please, and tell them that this is a very warm and hearty invitation to all of you. I will pass that up, sir. And you know, uh, uh, Kalpana, the, you come originally, your family came from Karnal. And it was in that area where a famous poet Kalidas was there, who wrote that famous song about swim of the swan. Yes, and I know about that, and that's a very special thing. And you are that swan now swimming in the space. That does sound good. And thank you very much. Once again, my feeling of thanks to you for all that you have performed. You have made all of us proud of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for calling us on the orbiter. And if you would just take a second, uh, a couple of days ago, we taped a view of uh, Himalayas from the orbiter, and I will downlink it to you for a minute or so, and we can be talking while that's happening. Thank you. And Mr. Prime Minister and uh, all the people from India, we taped this view a few days ago. I was hoping that uh, maybe by chance when the call came, uh, we'd be flying over some regions that folks there were familiar with. But the view of Himalayas is so magnificent that it really belongs to all of us, as you can see on this video. Thank you very much. Kevin, uh, good morning for us. Uh, I think uh, good afternoon or good evening for you. Um, it's amazing uh, that we are on day uh, 76 of our 91-day stay in this chamber, and uh, you're on day 14 or 15 out of one more day to go. And we feel that uh, the end of this test is right around the corner. Uh, we're wondering, uh, it's strange to see that we may have the same feelings uh, on different duration flights. Well, Nazu, you're right. We're just about uh, ready to uh, finish our mission. We only have one day left, but it sure has flown by. I hope yours has uh, done the same. If you're doing some good work and uh, you're doing some good science and good research and for a good cause, things uh, tend to go very quickly. 
Uh, I just want to say hi to yourself and to Vicki. We miss her and all the food that she uh, supports with, and also to, to John and, and Laura. And if I could, I want to uh, tell you one thing. Now, I was there when you uh, went into the chamber, and we took, chatted a couple of times over email, and uh, you folks that came up with uh, a possible problem with iodine in the water, and as you know, that was a last-minute uh, addition to our flight. And thanks to uh, your research that you're doing and then the folks on the ground find a solution, we have that incorporated right here. And let me show you. There's your uh, filtration system that uh, takes out our iodine water. We also have the filter. And as you can see, it just sucks in quite nicely uh, between our cabinet on the MAR and the galley. So it, it really hasn't been a, uh, an inconvenience at all. The water comes out a little bit uh, slower, but hopefully uh, in the long-term health benefits, uh, especially on the shuttle and the International Space Station, we'll all benefit from it. I uh, certainly uh, can uh, sympathize with you on that one, Kevin. And uh, the hardware you have in your hand is one that I had slated for STS-89, but I guess uh, we'll get another one for Terry for that. Um, we'd like to hand it on to John now. I think he has a couple of other questions for you. Morning. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm glad to see that uh, something that one of our former test directors uh, worked on uh, worked great in the Palo Bay. Uh, Ed Moore was uh, Ed was uh, Nigel's test director for his 15 days uh, with the wheat plants, and uh, he was also uh, one of the key guys working on the Sprint Cam. I was wondering uh, what your thoughts were on his performance in the CVA. Well, we were real happy to get a, a second chance uh, for do a spacewalk and to fly the Sprint. And Steve did the, the flying of the Sprint and. If you saw any pictures of it, it just handled like a dream. It actually handled uh, handling qualities better than the simulator in the virtual reality lab. Um, it really has tremendous potential. The video was a little bit uh, intermittent, but we knew that going into the test because the antennas aren't optimized at this time. But I think for future shuttle missions and definitely on the International Space Station, uh, that technology uh, really has great potential. And this is a homegrown Johnson Space Center uh, project. Um, it was done under a very tight budget, and the guys really did hit a grand slam. Uh, it just worked great. Uh, 